I don't know if you can hear me, but this here is a, a water pool a McCoy chiller with four scrolls. So you got two separate circuits. You got these two compressors. You can see they share a common discharge line. Your discharge line comes down. That's the copper pipe there. Goes down into your condenser barrel, right? It comes out as your liquid. It comes up, goes through your liquid line dryer, through your liquid line solenoid valve, through a sight glass, and it goes into your TXV. And this here is your evaporator. That's why it's insulated. And then here's your suction line coming up. It's actually, this is a suction line from the other circuit. Your suction line is back there. That comes, which is this one. It comes here and it goes back into the two compressors. So, and the same thing for this one. Your discharge line goes down, your liquid line comes out, through your dryer, solenoid valve, sight glass, into the back, TXV in the back. And it comes back out of this uh, suction line and back to your compressors but it's, it's the same as you know uh, air conditioning refrigeration the principle is the same whether it's residential or commercial just different things are uh, at different levels you know some are bigger some are smaller so here you got your water out on the bottom and your water in so your coldest part of the evaporator is going to be the inlet right here right as your refrigerant absorbs heat from the water the refrigerant is going to start coming back warmer but it's still cold enough to exchange heat on your warm water coming back uh, your chill water coming back uh, I gotta see there's a book that I read it's on coils and, and piping and, and heat exchange and and it, it explains you know pretty much why you would uh, it, to gain efficiency if you were to swap them you'll lose a little bit of efficiency uh, doing it that way but anyways uh, that's your condenser water so the hot water your hot condenser water comes out. This here is your temperature sensor. Comes out, comes up here, goes back here. Oh, let me see. Yep. Alright. Yeah, it goes back there, it goes here goes inside but it actually has a riser pipe you see that pipe in the center in there that goes up to the top of the tower let me see if I could uh, show you through the little inspection hole Well, this one's uh, covered. You see? And that's where it's showering down. Right? And that's your fan on top. Try to put this back. Alright. So you saw that water showering down from the top? Well, this is it showering down on the bottom. So as the warm air, uh, sorry, as the warm water showers down, you got the fan on top sucking air into these louvers and up out the top of the tower. So that's a counterflow tower. So then your water pump, your water pump sucks water from out the base of the tower, right? Your sump, it's, the water pump sucks it and it pushes it out, comes up, 
over the cross the top here, right? And then into the condenser barrel. So your chill water and your condenser water, they never come in actual contact. It's two separate uh, water systems. Your condenser water is usually 80 degrees. It doesn't need to be insulated, at least not in my area, uh, in South Florida. Here in, uh, and then your chill water, obviously it's about 40, 45 degrees. It's gonna condensate, it must be insulated. So, so anytime, if you walk up to a system and you see insulated piping, it's either gonna be chill water or it could be uh, hot water. Um, from the water heater or something like that. So looking at this, you already know, this is all chill water piping just because it's insulated. And uh, that's your chill water pumps, obviously because it's going into an insulated cabinet. That's your, your motor driving a pump inside the insulated uh, housing. And the same thing, so they run one pump and they have one on backup. The same outside, the condenser, you got uh, one pump and one's a uh, backup. This is a McQuay, McQuay chiller. So, it's running 410A, so that's pretty much it. Just a little, little tour of uh, kind of how the system works, but it's pretty basic.